Hi everyone, this is Doc Wisdom and today we won't talk, we will walk here. But before, subscribe to my channel, share and now enjoy this new video. So as I said today we will walk a bit uh, here on Mount Etna. Uh, I'm on the northeast side of Mount Etna as you can see there. Here we have uh, uh, top craters, active part of Mount Etna. And uh, here we are uh, on the lava flow of 2002-2003. It's the last lateral eruption on Mount Etna. And uh, there we have uh, the ruins of an hotel. Uh, it's called was called uh, uh, birches because here on Mount Etna we have uh, also birches. Here you can see uh, what is called the tree mold. Probably you remember the the episode about uh, lava and lava flows that I explained you here before. There was uh, a, a tree that later was uh, we can say dissolved, uh, burned uh, by by lava, and uh, it remained uh, uh, this uh, hole. Uh, in, uh, in Italian it's called uh, stone cannon, pietra cannone, uh, because it seems to be a cannon. Okay, here on my back, um, lava of 2002-2003 uh, that I told you before is the, the most typical lava of Mount Etna, this kind of lava. If you remember, I told you about uh, AA lava, AA lava it's uh, something like these blocks uh, there's uh, we have this uh, kind of crust um, that is broken um, by by the movement of lava and uh, uh, here this is northeast crater uh, it's uh, one of top craters of mount etna is the active part uh, in fact uh, as you can see there is uh, gas that is coming out gas is very important because uh, give us uh, a lot of information and is the sign that mount etna is uh, a volcano with open conduit because otherwise gas can't uh, uh, come out um, give us a lot of information because uh, depending uh, on the deepness of uh, magma we have uh, emission of different kind of gases because we have different uh, uh, different pressure uh, deeper we have a uh, higher pressure so uh, we have less gas that is uh, that comes out uh, higher is magma closer to the surface is magma uh, different kind of gas we have uh, so uh, knowing which kind of gas is emitted and the quantity and the temperature we can know where is magma uh, in uh, inside the uh, inside the cross inside the mountain so here we are in the middle of uh, a lava channel if you remember uh, during the, the video about uh, lava and lava flows uh, i told you about a lava channel that is uh, uh, the valley we can say where lava flows and is created by flowing of lava uh, because of the uh, the cooling down of lava so uh, lava cools down uh, first uh, externally uh, and then uh, um, uh, we have the formation of this crust so two walls uh, and inside inside these uh, wall uh, walls uh, inside this kind of valley we have lava that flows um, and uh, at the end of uh, of the eruption the level that before was uh, very high uh, slowly goes down and uh, it remains uh, something like this as you can see uh, there we have uh, uh, a wall exposed uh, before lava was uh, much higher so that wall be before was not possible to see sorry for the wind if uh, if it's too strong but i can't control the the wind not yet and there on my back you can see the bottom line of um, the eruption of 1923. The bottom line is a particular disposition of uh, craters, is the result of uh, fissural activity. Here on Mount Etna we have uh, three rift zones because uh, Mount Etna is a very big uh, volcano on uh, a basement of um, clay clay is, uh, um, is uh, very slippery we can say so uh, we have a very solid and a heavy structure on a very slippery um, stone 
so Mount Etna it's like uh, we can say it's like uh, a bit of honey on a table so it spread it expands but we have uh, um, um, uh, Mount Etna is also brittle uh, so um, we have formation of a lot of fractures radial fractures uh, but the first fracture forms uh, uh, in the uh, weaker uh, the weakest zone um, and then the second will form close and then close and then close and so on so we have uh, uh, rift zones uh, more or less uh, like what's happening uh, in uh, in Africa in the Great Rift Valley but obviously much smaller uh, so we have uh, uh, the rift of northeast where we are now the rift of south and the rift of west here we are uh, on the line basically uh, the button line uh, this is the line of the eruption of uh, as i told you 1923 uh, and uh, here uh, behind me there's a part and there you can see quite clear uh, there is uh, the other part and there very far I don't know if you can see it there is Stromboli Aeolian Islands and there there um, Peloritani Mountains the result uh, of the collision between uh, African plate and European plate there are all Aeolian Islands it's something that never happened to me probably is because of uh, the lack of uh, um, the lack of uh, smog here you can see another fracture it is uh, clearly a fracture because uh, we are at the base uh, of uh, a cone of a crater and here there's uh, another part here in front of us you can see Alcantara Valley Alcantara is uh, one of the most important rivers of, uh, of Sicily um, and uh, in the back uh, you can see Peloritani mountains uh, as I told you is uh, the, the chain of the north part of Sicily and there you can see Monte Moyo Moyo Mount it is um, an eccentric uh, uh, crater eccentric means that lava that magma sorry uh, didn't come uh, up from uh, from the main conduit but uh, it took a different way directly from a magmatic chamber in fact uh, around that um, around uh, that crater there are not uh, um, lava flows or anyway uh, lavic um, grounds uh, lavic lithology but there is uh, just uh, metamorphic and sedimentary we are in a, another very particular zone of Mount Etna this is called uh, uh, Passo dei Dammusi uh, it's a very very big lava flow from uh, the eruption of uh, 1614 1624 uh, 10 years of uh, eruption um, and it is a very very large uh, Pahoehoe lava as you can see it's full of uh, Pahoehoe lava it's one of the, mo the mm, one of the uh, my favorite part of Mount Etna it's very very nice let me let me show you how big this lava uh, this lava flow is uh, uh, more than uh, uh, more than one uh, kilometer cube um, the, the quantity of lava was uh, more than one kilometer cube as you can see is very very big I explained the formation of these uh, uh, of this kind of lava it's because uh, the lower part uh, remain uh, uh, remain fluid the the crust uh, uh, it's plastic uh, the lower part uh, uh, remain uh, fluid and uh, flows uh, and uh, uh, it uh, make corrugate the crust because uh, it uh, it brings the the crust that is plastic so it corrugate and we have these uh, very particular shapes these 
like ropes. And uh, now in few seconds I will uh, bring you inside a lava tube. <laughs> 